Let's get it. Uh, dear summer, why you let me down like that? 45 days in, melted all my winter rounds. Hibernation, how they sleeping on me? Niggas still got the nerve to want the verse for the free. Nigga need that diamond in the back. Sunroof top, so I can hit the scene with a gangster lean. Pocket stuff with cash, mason jars full of that green. Wood thicker than the bitch that's with me acting all mean. Thank dummy, comprehend the way that I spit like I ain't farting in the... He's on the phone, but I just want to let y'all know this is a uh, hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. But, no, it's fine. It'll be all right. Cody, my dog, man, he let me crack it open, though. Somebody gave it to him as a gift. I don't normally drink expensive liquor like this every day unless somebody else buys it. You know, I'm a Woodford guy. $40. I might feel fancy and get the $60 double barrel. You know what I'm saying? But in this weak-ass Louisville glass, because you know I'm in Kentucky. But we're going to talk about that in a second. LeBron though, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch fit for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first. Alright, so here's what's going on. Those of you that don't know, the year of 2008 to 2010, I lived in Kentucky. A nice little town called Sad Cliff. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it, man. So this is what we're gonna do on this vlog. I'm gonna take you on a tour of Kentucky, where I went to school at, where I actually graduated high school from. A lot of people don't know that neither. A lot of people didn't even believe I graduated high school. <clears throat> but yes, I moved to Kentucky and graduated high school in Sadcliffe. I'm gonna show you the school, I'm gonna show you where I play ball, I'm gonna show you where I lived, all of that. And this is my dog right here. This is my brother, the one that just pour, uh, excuse me, let me pour up this $100 whiskey. <laughs> What's up? This is my dog, Cody. He looks just like Buddy from Euphoria. Oh, you better shut the hell up with that shit. <laughs> you seen that shit before? I think I have. I All know right, I'm going to put it on the screen, side by side. <laughs> to the left of the screen, we're going to put Cody. I'm assuming to the right, we're going to put Cody. And on the left, we're going to have Buddy from Euphoria. I got to see And y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think uh, he looks just like him. I'm about to show Cody who he is. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but, but he has a hairline. I don't. It don't matter, y'all still look about the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shit, that is funny. You just ain't got the blue eyes. I do got blue eyes. Oh, you do got the blue eyes. <laughs> That's your twinsie. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, what, what they call it um, whenever you have a twin out there? Uh, Doppler Yeah, that's my Doppler Ganger. I wish I had his money, man. Yeah, bro, that's my dog Doppler Ganger, man. He looks just like him. You know what I'm saying? On euphoria and shit. They see you striving that like you don't exist. But they be sick when they realize they can't ignore your presence. Not knowing that alone is what gives you the fucking leverage. No matter what, don't stop. Keep going on them. And I ain't letting up either. I'ma keep flowing on them. Talent undeniable. Not holding, get your dick cut off. I advise you abstain. Using my name in vain. Thought I told you niggas that some of that we not the same. You get no play on these stations. Promise it's not a game. Zero stain on my name when it's insane. Dodging the dirt, they try to throw it back me. Just relax, handle that. Cut the crap, pop the latch. That's a fact. Bounce back. All right, that was the school that I went to school at when I stayed out here. Graduated high school from there. The school actually is a lot bigger than uh, I remember. I also remember this uh, cemetery they got right next to the school. There's just a whole bunch of nothing going into it. Next we about to go to, um, what's it called? Dolly Park, where I used to play basketball at and bust these niggas heads, you know what I'm saying? They had the little kid rims on there. I don't know why the hell we was playing on these little kid rims. You about to see that, that shit in a minute. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and they had this weird ass arch to it like, it was shaped it was shaped like a football so you had to shoot the shot a certain way it was weird as hell hopefully it looked different though we about to pull up and see well the park might be closed so i might not be able to show you all the park but it's it's just a bad ass little basketball court with like some some seven foot rims motherfuckers was dunking on each other looking crazy as hell this was this long ass ride we taking right now from the park I used to ride with Cody, but if I had to walk, this shit was long as hell. Now we're going to where I used to stay at. That's it. And this is the I'll building I lived here. in right here. I lived in this apartment right here, the bottom left. Hey, that one right there. <laughs> Looking stupid as hell. I used to sit on that porch right there smoking black and miles. Yeah. 
horrible memory. And this right here was the cut I used to walk through to go to the store and get black and miles and candy. It was a fucking trailer park right here. This is the Bat-Bass store I used to go to all the time and get black and miles and candy through the cut. Now I'm gonna show y'all where uh, me and my mom was supposed to stay. But these are the apartments we were supposed to live in. Right fucking here. So the funny story about these apartments is when we first moved to Kentucky, I'm talking about as soon as we got off the road, had all our stuff packed in the car, we were supposed to move into these apartments. And the apartment that they showed us was full of pissy and shitty ass diapers and trash bags everywhere and it smelled like shit. And my mom was like, oh hell no!" Nah. And we went and got a hotel. Then we found the apartments that uh, y'all just seen. And that's when I knew this place was gonna be some weird shit. <laughs> and the funny thing about the school I went to, that shit was like the grassy. I never seen the grassy before, but how the picture, excuse me, how I picture what the grassy looked like, that's what that school looked like. I remember the second week of school, it was this big ass fight and they closed the doors on each wing of the building and they basically just fought to the death. Like ain't no teachers break it up. They were just fighting to the death. And I was like, what kind of weird ass shit is this? And the teachers was banging on the door and everybody was blocking the door so the teachers couldn't get in. I said, oh, this shit like the Twilight Zone. They doing some other shit around here. I'm still happy, calamari, mahi mahi, you know that water sparkle, me and my bitch trying to decide, scuba dive a snorkel, the This my nigga Keenan right here, man, the one that I say got them is the opposite of Big King, but the same <laughs> as Big King, y'all got the same goddamn name. They got dolly clothes. Keenan, this shit weird too, bro, because you look the exact fucking same, bro. <laughs> we were bro. talking about that last night. Bro, why you look the same? You don't age like for real. Good black don't crack. Nah, that ain't what it is. That's fucking with the white girls, huh? Black, no black, no crack. <laughs> you still be fucking with the white girls? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why you like the white girls so much? Why not? Man, the white girls trouble, man. This is my nigga, man. Bruh, so uh, last question before I turn the camera off. How you like living in Sadcliffe? I don't. <laughs> Nah, you like this shit. You like something about it cause you here. Nah, I'm trapped. Nah, you ain't trapped. Trapped. You here, bro. You love it. <laughs> bro, how is it out here though? Is it still some hoes out here or is this shit dead? No hoes out here. <laughs>